Hi friends, today I wanted to show you my trick to creating a more full pout. So when it comes to lips, I love to make it look like my lips are more full than they naturally are. But I also don't want it to look fake. So I have over the years come up with a really simple routine, which I do in all my videos, but I've never done one video to break this down. So I figured I would do that today because I have figured out a way, in my opinion, that really enhances and makes my natural lips look a lot more full, but in a very natural way. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take your lips from this to this so that you can also achieve this at home. Obviously, I've gotta work with what I've got and same with you guys. So it will just make your natural lips look more full. This technique will work on anyone no matter what your lips look like. It only takes three steps to do this, but the pre-step to that is making sure your lips are hydrated. Hydrating your lips by itself is gonna make your lips look more full. So I did not apply lip balm yet, and you can tell my lips need it. So I'm just gonna quickly apply a little bit of lip balm. It is so dry here, and normally I would have let this sink in for a while now, but I wanted to like show you that hydrated lips already kind of help with the appearance of making your lips look more full. Also, I should make a disclaimer. I have never had lip filler personally. I'm not like against lip filler at all, you know? You do you. But I feel like I get comments sometimes where people assume that I have lip filler, so I just wanted to kind of make a disclaimer that I have never gotten lip filler before, so these are my natural lips. I feel like what may contribute to the idea that I have lip filler is I do try to take good care of my lips. Obviously, they were very dry today, but I always wear a really hydrating lip mask overnight, and I swear that makes the biggest difference. Bite Beauty's lip mask was my absolute favorite but they no longer make that. So a close second is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. I feel like it really does actually improve the appearance of my lips and fills in or appears to fill in the lip lines, which is really nice. So I'll have that link down below for you guys. But step number one, we're gonna take a lip liner. This is why I think I love lip liners and so many people skip this step, but I think it's really important in achieving that more full lip look. So you wanna take a more cool toned lip liner and I have a few favorites. I'll link a few down below. What a cool toned tone does, and if you're familiar with the technique that's used on the face as well. So if you were to sculpt the face with a contour powder or cream, usually they run a little bit more cool tone because it will create the illusion that there's a shadow there. So why would we want to use a cool tone lip liner on the lips? Do we want to make it look like there's a shadow? Kind of. So if you create more of a shadow along the lip line, what it's essentially doing is it's going to create the illusion that the lips pulled back here, which will in turn make your lips jump forward. So you're creating a shadow and if you've ever like drawn a picture or anything before you may know that when you shade something in a little bit deeper it pulls it back and then when you highlight things it brings it forward so that's essentially what we're trying to do today I'm going to use one of my new favorite um, cool tone lip liners, which you'll see right here this is a brown it's called stone this is Mac stone I have several favorites again I will have a few of them down below you're gonna want to find one that works well for you and your skin tone and I'm gonna kind of like tilt the pencil at an angle and just go right along the lip line. I wanna make sure to end the lip line where my natural lip line actually ends. So I like to start there on the outside of the lip, slowly dragging it toward the center. Then I always take my fingertip and start to blur upward toward the center and then also out toward the edges. So you can see I'm not creating a super stark line at all. This is just meant to create the illusion of a fuller lip. And here's a trick that I feel like a lot of you may know, but just in case, I'll teach you again now. So if you want to make your lips look actually more full, you wanna overline in just the center of the lips, keeping the outer corners connected to your actual lip line. So I'm gonna do the same thing, overlining the cupid's bow just slightly, and then again, dragging it down to the actual corner of my lip. Then I'm gonna take my fingertip again and just softly blend that out. For the lower lip, I also like to overline. So I'll sometimes kind of like bend my lip in like this. It's kind of hard to talk and teach this, but I'll do this just to kind of really contour that lower lip. And then again, moving it up to my actual corner where my natural lip line ends. That way it doesn't look too messy. And you can already see the shape start to form. And then you wanna just take your time and assess your lip situation, going over anything that needs a little bit more lip liner, blending out any areas that need more blending, evening out the cupid's bow if you need to, just working in very light layers. And I like to alternate 
applying the pencil and then blending it out with my finger. You could use a brush if you wanted to, but honestly, I feel like using the fingertip just creates even more of a natural look. Okay, so again, talking about cool tones and highlights, we wanna pull back the areas that we want to look less full. So I also find that if I shade in the very outer corner of the lip, like this, with a bit of lip liner, hopefully you can see how it's already kind of creating a more dimension in the center of the lips and pulling that part of the lip forward. Again, I don't want it to be too stark, so I still go in with my finger and blend that in. So these are very subtle things, but I promise in the end, it makes such a big difference. Okay, so step one, lip liner. Already we can see the lips have a better shape. So now we're gonna take a lipstick. This is step two. I like to choose a lipstick that's a little bit lighter than my natural lip color. This is to achieve that super natural looking full lip. Obviously you could go with something a lot lighter than your lip liner and your lips, um, but then you'll have more contrast, which sometimes is harder to blend and sometimes won't look as natural. Not to say that it won't look good, but if you're trying to trick somebody into thinking like, oh, that's like just her lips, you're gonna wanna choose a lipstick that's really, really close to your actual lip color. To make it look more full, I am gonna go slightly lighter, but you don't wanna go too, too light, I feel, for this type of effect. So I'm personally gonna take the Hourglass Tide Lipstick. Well, that's the shade anyway. So this is the Hourglass Unlock Lipstick in the shade Tide. You can choose anything that matches your lip color, honestly. Just make sure that your lip liner is slightly deeper than your lipstick because you wanna keep that dimension and make sure that those colors aren't blending too much. Otherwise you're gonna end up with more of a flat lip look. So you do wanna make sure that there's a difference between your lipstick and your lip liner. It doesn't have to be huge, but enough so that all of your hard work shows up, you know? So we're gonna take this and just like we focus the kind of contour of the lip on the outside, we're gonna focus the lipstick on the center. And you can see this is like pretty close to my lip color especially when I go in with my finger and blend it out. I honestly feel like this is the key to making it look really natural is using your fingertip to blend. So that way you're not overdoing the product. And I especially love to take my fingertip and kind of feather up and out in the very center of the cupid's bow. I think this really makes such a difference. You can see how it pulled that forward right here, but we've still got the lip liner, which is still blended out nicely. So it's so subtle in person and on camera, you really can't tell like, oh, she's wearing a lip liner. It just looks like my lips almost. And of course people might see like, oh, she's wearing lip product, but it doesn't look heavy. It still looks super natural with the colors and the amount of product that I'm using. So I'm gonna pull the lipstick down and I'm really not using that much lipstick. I'm just pulling it down with my fingertip in the center of the lips and then taking what's left and blending it outward because we do wanna make sure that there's a nice seamless gradient going from the lip liner to the lipstick like that. Feel free to keep adding if you want to. If you wanna be extra, you can use two different lip colors. Sometimes I do that. If I'm wanting something like a little bit more pink, I'll put that all over and then add a lighter lipstick just in the center. But this is a really, really foolproof way in just like three steps to get the same effect. But if you wanna play around with different lip combos, feel free to layer two different lipsticks. Again, making sure that the first lipstick is still a little bit lighter than the um, lip liner so that you get that difference. And then the center lipstick you want slightly lighter than the other lipstick. So you wanna make sure you're using different tones to pull forward the highlights and make sure that the lip liner still has the effect of kind of shaping the outside of the lip. So hopefully you can see now how there's already a lot more dimension. If you wanted to leave it like this, you could, but I feel like the next part is really, really essential in creating that super delicious, healthy looking full lip. So that is gloss. You don't have to use an actual gloss. You could use a lip balm, honestly, just anything that's gonna reflect light, as you know, or if you don't know, it makes sense, right? Like doing contour, especially with a matte contour, is gonna pull things in and then reflecting light pulls things out. So highlighter, for example, that shimmer is gonna like bounce light off, bringing it forward. It's gonna be the same exact effect on the lips. So we're gonna take 
Let's see, I actually, I just wanna show you how it still looks good with just a lip balm. You could use a gloss. That is where you wanna kind of choose a gloss if it's colored that is slightly lighter if you really want a full, full looking pout or something that matches the lipstick at least. You don't wanna go darker than the lipstick right here. It helps to do something clear as well. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I seriously am using no tools with this. You're just gonna take it and press this on just the center of the lips. What that's gonna do is it's gonna use light to further create that dimension. So again, anything matte pulls back, anything glossy or shimmery pulls the face forward. So I'm focusing this right on top of the lipstick. My favorite trick is to really kind of feather that up and you can see I didn't go over top of the lip liner, but it's creating like an effect to where my lips are almost jumping out, <laughs> if that makes sense. Hopefully you can see this because it's just the most simple, subtle things that make the biggest difference. But I would make sure if I were you to kind of lift that up and out gently, you don't wanna get gloss like on your upper lip, but you do want it to kind of touch the lip liner on the very center. And you can see how it literally just looks so juicy on the top of the lips and the center. And that's literally it, you guys. Obviously, this was just one lip combo. You can do this with so many different types of lipsticks, so many different things. You can do this with so many different types of lipsticks, and actually, it would work with colored lipsticks if you wanna use a red. It still actually works really well to define the outer edge with a more cool-toned brown, even. Just make sure you're feathering it out, and then you can blend the pop of color into that, and it will give you that same three-dimensional kind of an effect. That's only if you want to. You can obviously pair a red lipstick, for example, with a red lip liner if you just want it to look really clean. But if you're wanting to kind of fake that dimension, using a cool-toned lip liner is gonna really help, specifically a cool-toned brown that is close-ish to your skin tone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than, you know, what I usually do, but I really enjoy teaching everything that I know about makeup. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned something new. I feel like I get so nerdy about this kind of stuff when it comes to makeup. And I feel like if I'm like that, there's somebody out there that's also like that who just kind of geeks out over almost the science of <laughs> contours and highlights when it comes to makeup because it's all about the illusion. You really don't need to do anything super crazy to get an effect and create illusions on the face or on the lips in this case that really trick the eye in making things look more full or more contoured, whatever it is. So let me just show you one more time the before and after next to each other so you can see that my lips look way more full, but it's much more natural than like a super stark lip liner. If you pair the colors right and if that's what you're going for, it's a great way to just kind of make your lips look super juicy and full and healthy. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Also, I feel like this might be my new favorite combo. Although in my last video, I topped that lipstick with the Fenty lip gloss, which technically is a deeper shade than the lipstick, but it has glitter in it. So it reflects even more and it looked so pretty. Like I said, you can really do any lip combo with this. It can work with any color lipstick. I think finding the lip liner that's perfect for you is key for this look. So yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. Day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!